Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda blog. Right, guys, it's some gaming commentary playing the Last of Us Remastered Edition on the PlayStation 4 for a little multiplayer. But the topic I want to talk about is going to be really important here, and the topic is scalpers and conventions, grim reality. Because let's face it, conventions nowadays, as far as registration goes, is not like how it was like 10 years ago, where you can get a badge at the door no problem. Nowadays, it's always good to pre-reg, even highly recommended, and sometimes. It, it's the only way to get into convention, like some of the most popular ones including the PAX conventions, New York Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, those are some of the, you know, or BlizzCon as well, those are some of the most hardest conventions to get into because nine times out of ten for most of them, the badges sell out in an hour. Now, you're thinking, okay, how did it come to this point? Well, it's simple, supply and demand, and then you got a few other things to take into notice, but the basic thing is, when it can, you know, the convention is growing. All these conventions are growing and growing and growing because uh, the geek culture is becoming a bit more mainstream now, but it's still in its own popular subculture. But a lot more people are being geeks. You know, it's really open, which is really cool. But it's just like a lot of people want to go to these things because it's such a awesome social community event where you see all these cosplayers make new friends. You know, it's just a great time. But uh, nowadays, you know, for some of these conventions, it's really hard to get into. Like, the fact that I managed to get into New York Comic Con with a four-day pass, I was lucky to get it for last year, was amazing. Like, I was so damn lucky because my other friends had to buy this day separately and it cost a buttload of money for them because, you know, you add it up, but it was still the official price. But the thing that's the thorn on the side is scalpers. Now... This is the grim reality part that it's the the scalpers are here to stay because well, for those who don't know scalpers are people who buy something who what, what an item that it is in high demand whether it be like back then it was the Wii U system or a ticket to a comic or New York Comic Con or PAX East and then they resell it for a higher price usually double or even triple to making their profits now i know now this really sucks because it is kind of getting out of control where more and more people are doing it. and not just like people in, within the geek community it's like the average joe is like oh hey i can make money real quick to either pay off a bill or just make a little side profit because it works you know people will buy because people do get desperate and it's really hurting the system that there are always going to be someone out there especially those who even sell fake badges those are the worst where you're not even getting a real badge you're just getting a fake one and the convention's like well you bought a fake badge it's not our fault you're the one who did it so it's really hard it's getting really out of control now like say for instance uh, PAX East is literally coming in a few days and I went on eBay just to see like okay I never was able to buy a Sunday pass you know so maybe I want to attend Sunday I looked on there so many passes were available I see pictures of like people having like six passes on them of like Saturday or like a couple of three-day passes like there are so many now I understand that some people are not able to go that they, they bought a badge, not able to go, and you know, sell it just to recoup their losses, which is fine. You know, it's like okay, you know, you have reason to sell it, but to other people, like this is just insane, and it's seriously becoming very annoying because, well, think of it this way: you and a group of friends want to go to convention, but the convention is basically pre-reg only, and you have to be there. You have to be ready at your computer to pre-register. Let's say. Uh, you were the uh, like it was a your group was like out of five people But you were the only one managed to get a badge and the rest were out of luck because the system didn't work Or it crashed like the New York comic-con pre-register system the servers crashed and There was just going so many issues, but I was still able to get in and get a four-day pass which is still extremely lucky, but it's something like that. It's just the demand is there it's like extremely high where these servers are like still, you know, like they're getting overloaded because so many people want to buy a badge, legit or otherwise. And you know, you know, why can't they make more pass, you know, more, have more badges available? Well, for convention centers out there, a convention center has fire codes that it must abide by, or else the convention center and the convention itself is going to get a big trouble. So. The fire code says you're only allowed to have this many people in there, so you can only have this many pa this many uh, badges, and then you got to have you know badges for your you know, people for your staff, your guests, and all that stuff. So it all it all adds up, 
And if they realize that there are more people in there, then the fire marshal is going to legitimately be extremely pissed off, like he was in Rhode Island Comic Con of last year, and basically said, you're not allowed to go inside unless some people inside go out, you know, exit out of the building, which happened, and it was, from what I've been told, a horrible experience for a good amount of people, so... Still, this is basically the reality that we're living in here. And these conventions are not cheap as well. They are expensive cons to go to, but on the hindsight, they are some of the most best cons to go to. Like New York Comic Con, to me, last year, though I've been told it wasn't as good as the previous years, it was still a great experience. I met so many awesome people. I bought a lot of things, and I got some exclusive stuff. And I got to meet Seth Green and have a selfie with him, which is pretty awesome. But still, this is... You know, these conventions are really fun, it's just really freaking hard to get into. Now, some might say, well, is there any way to help curb the, you know, help, you know, try to stop the scalpers, you know, or the resellers of, you know, doing what they're doing? There is some process to it, like San Diego Comic Con has a pre-register system where you have to register as yourself, and then you have a code, and then... I, I don't want to explain it all, but they have a system in place where the people in New York Comic Con, like the, the you know, the concourse are like... Uh, guys, why don't you use the system? This will help curb people trying to buy multiple badges and resell them. Because it's kind of insane when they are like, Oh yeah, you can buy up to four to six badges for yourself. And, you know, and I'm like, well, why don't you limit it to like two per person, you know? And then have like, like no, like your own account for it. That you have to have an account with your own email and all your own information. So... They have, you know, some of the some of the people out there have been kind of be like, okay, we have to have the system in place. And then we have other conventions out there that are slowly joining that rank. Like, let's look at Otakon. Uh, Otakon, you know, I believe, you know, last year or this year, they had a set limit of badges that they had to sell. Like, granted, it was, you know, you could probably still be able to join regardless, but, you know, that I remember seeing that ticket counter go slowly go down and down and down. And, you know, Otakon seems to be going to be joining the ranks. I don't know how bad Anime Expo is. I could probably assume that it's, since it is the biggest convention in the United States where anime con cons, probably is a pre-reg thing only. And even then, it's like Lion Con Ahoy. So, again, you know, it's just the scalpers are definitely going to be... They're here to stay. It's always going to happen. Regard, you know, again, it's supply and demand, and people are going to know they're going to make a quick buck. Remember when the, P, you know, the PS4 was out? You know, it was hard to find one. Uh, scalpers were having a heyday with that. Scalpers had a heyday with the Xbox 360, the Wii. They had they had a heyday with some of the other, you know, gaming stuff out there. Some of the other convention badges. It's 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 going to happen. You know, like, yeah, sometimes you do have to buy a badge that's overpriced, but you're still able to go, but it shouldn't have to be that way. You spend more money that you could have been like, oh, I, I plan on using this to buy something at the dealer's room. Oh, wait, now I can't buy anything at the dealer's room because I bought a badge and I'm still able to go. It shouldn't have to be that way. No one should have to deal with that issue, but sadly, in the world we live today, it is the new, it is the new reality here, so, you know... People out there, with the, with your conventions growing and growing, and depending how you know how popular it is, that might have to be the reality of oh, it's a pre-reg only con, but there's only a finite amount of tickets left. So you know, this is food for thought. You know, like it, it's just it's just anno it's just really annoying. And then people say like, oh, these people have no life and all that stuff. Well, uh, surprisingly enough, these are like people that do have lives that average shows are just picking quick buck. Some of them think that they they see no wrong in it. Others, they definitely know what they're doing. And it's still, to me, it is really annoying and it just sucks that like some of my friends can't go to this convention because tickets were already sold out. Uh, for instance, uh, last year, New York Comic Con. This year, PAX East. So... Above all, thank you folks for watching this video. Post down in the comment box of what you think of the scalpers and conventions issue is. You know, do you you know do you think this is here to stay, or do you have hope that they're going to try to curb the system as best they can? So it's like a cat and mouse thing. So uh, post down in the comment box, and above all else, this is Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda blog. Sending out to remember, stay geeky, my friends.